Hello, welcome to Chasing Diecast Cars. We start this video with something that was not in the thumbnail of this video because there was just no more space to fit it in. On Monday, April 11, I went to a Cura supermarket in near Brussels and they had a sale of 20% off on uh, if you bought three toys or more. And they had these uh, monster trucks with these crushed cars. So I got them for five euro and 59 cents instead of six euro 99 uh, very cool combo this uh, dragster vw drag bus with the uh, the van that's crushed so i bought all the crushed ones uh, did not get the other ones that were not crushed uh, this is an interesting uh, school bus monster truck so one day i will uh, get one of those let's uh, take a look So you got the drag bus. That's a pretty cool monster truck, all right. And here's the. Uh, I think this is the th uh, third version of this. Um, these crushed cars. So we got a gray base, white wheels, and then a uh, purple body. With a, white target on the side number 16 so we got a metal body and a plastic base it's got a nice way to it really like these crushed cars next is the invader with the uh, crushed wagon so here's a kind of a tank style vehicle number 13 on it and the wagon in flat black it's kind of a shark mouth on the side number 13 also teal base and interior well the little interior that there is the dashboard really awesome Then we got the uh, line share with some kind of a uh, coupe Buick or something, not sure. Nice gold paint, gold rims also. Full deco, just well, except for the front, that is. But very nicely done. base green wheels and metal flake blue get the side exhausts yeah awesome and the last one just want to see yeah made in Thailand okay these are also made in the box factory chassis snapper with the some kind of a sedan, kind of looks like a, I don't know, here's a, uh, that's a Chevy uh, pickup truck, right? Definitely looks like one. And, you know, not sure what this is based on, but kind of looks like a, Ford Crown Victoria or something like that and uh, it's got the best steering wheel I've seen in years on a uh, mainline Hot Wheels go figure sudden stop is what it's called I like that it's it's really bent in the middle and um, this uh, this bumper is kinda crooked too on this side it's straight so it's interesting. I think it's meant to be like that. It's a nice touch. Metallic orangey color. It does roll though. And they also had these 
that I was very surprised about. Uh, and not only that, they were already reduced in the store from $12.99 to $9.99, so with a 20% off, I ended up paying a little less than eight euros, so four euro each. That's a real bargain. I, uh, I went to a um, swap meet, a diecast event, the last weekend, and one seller was selling one of these for 20 euro. So, yeah, definitely uh, much sought after. Very popular VW stuff in Europe. Here's uh, some other vehicles in the set. Very nice looking classic Beetle 63 V up on the license plate. Got uh, chrome on the inside for the engine and then two tone on the body. Headlights are done. Well, basically, you could say full deco chrome bumper in the front. Very nice. And here's the drag bus. Kind of a gunmetal grey on top and then a metallic orange on the bottom. Cool. Then on Saturday, April 16, I went to a local swap meet by um, MCCF, Model Car Collector Friends. There's a local club here. And they do a uh, a diecast event twice a year and uh, I bought not that much this time not as much as I usually can find there that's why I um, I uh, have several events and several store buys in one video here because I did not have enough to do one video of each event Kind of hard to find carded stuff nowadays, uh, a lot of loose cars, but not that much carded and if you find it, it's uh, ridiculously expensive. So uh, this whole row here you see I bought from uh, one seller. Uh, I start with the most expensive one, um, 4 euro for the super fast. Normally I would not spend this kind of money on that because I don't think it's worth that. But since he had great prices on the rest of his stuff, I, um, I decided to pick it up. So this is the Hummer H3. Uh, 2006 copyright. Um, 2006 uh, super fast it is. I like this casting. I'm glad they brought it back. So this basically does just has a full deco and some uh, you know a little bit more special wheels but they're still plastic base is still plastic it uh, doesn't have suspension doesn't have opening parts it's just full deco so that's why usually I don't uh, pay that kind of money for these but you know just for this once the tail lights don't don't even wrap around they just have the the red on the back and not on the side here Got the fuel filler cap, we got the H3 on the side, we got the roof rails, this grill here, and then the um, grill in the front with the lights painted. And the hammer on the uh, rucksack. And it comes with a box. And then I got a bunch of mainline cars from that seller. Uh, this is the Ford Police Interceptor. And this was 2 euro, which is an okay price. Um, this is in pearl white and this was the um, a new model uh, in um, that year, in 2011. And this is the recolor. So it's got the separate piece for the light bar. That alone makes it worth the two euro, in my opinion. Got the push bar in the front. It's a generic deco. Got the orange ring around the uh, black rims. Unit nine. 
And this one just has the computer on the inside, I think, and at the, uh, the intercom thingy. I think that's it uh, when it comes to details on the inside, yeah. And staying with police cars, the Dodge Charger Police. 2011 release also, same price. Uh, apparently this is a USA only, you can see it's on a long card and um, this was never available on a short card apparently. No light bar on this, that's a different version. Uh, that, that other police version also has the push bar in front. This is based on the um, kind of the street version. Just says Dodge Charger. I think the other one says Dutch Charger Police on the base. Cool rims. Elk Grove Police, so this is licensed livery. There's something special in this interior. Nope, nothing at all. Kind of boring compared to the uh, other one, but it is very nicely done with a proper steering wheel and uh, some details on the dashboard. Can't really fold it. He also had a, a few VWs, which are usually uh, pretty pricey. This is the Volkswagen Type 181, 2011 release, and these were also only two euro, uh, so that's cheap. And he knew that. He actually told it to me. You know, you know that these are cheap, right? So, yeah, I know. Uh, so yeah, he, he had to get rid of, of some stuff, so that's why he was uh, selling them cheap. So um, yeah, I was happy. Uh, I already have this, but it's a, kind of a placekeeper. It's got some uh, flea bites and rusty axles. So uh, glad to find a minty version. And uh, of course we get the uh, proper steering wheel on this jungle thing it says underneath the uh, stripes base camp just a side deco and it's in a flat white and he also had the Volkswagen Carmen Ghia this is um, 2016 mainline type 34 so it's in price. Uh, they re-released this in 2019 but with a white base. Now this is the original with a chrome base. So we get the chrome bumpers. Details on the front and in the back. Fun to drive on the license plate. White interior. So uh, I pretty much have every mainline release of this casting now thanks to uh, some help from uh, the United States. And on a short card, this uh, 1969 Carmen Ghia convertible, uh, 2010 mainline in this uh, metal flake purple, same price again. Very nice color. So we got a kind of a dark chrome base and uh, bumpers. Plum crazy on the license plate. Again, nice interior and details in the front also. Even some purple around the uh, window. That's a nice touch. Beautiful. And also got some uh, Hot Wheels from him. Uh, Steel Passion 2001 mainline release. Also 2 euro. Very weighty piece, so definitely uh, worth that. This was also in the five pack truck stoppers. This is the dairy delivery. And uh, a collector friend told me that this is uh, based on a Difco milk truck. Here's the Matchbox Difco milk truck. And you can kind of see some uh, resemblance there. So that's uh, interesting to learn. I did not know that. Although I think this might be a little bit older because it's got the, uh, the uh, split window. So metal body, black plastic base and a red interior, 
Let's see, is there something in there? There seems like there's stuff in the back. What is that? I can't figure out what that is. Oh, is that the engine? Well, that could very well be. Where are those just milk crates? Kind of hard to tell. Don't know. Big Louis, speedy delivery when you absolutely positively gotta have it yesterday. Mr. Big. This is the first example I think of this casting I have. That's cool. He also had a treasure hunt, but just a regular. Uh, only one euro. The Rockster. 2008 release. Metallic green with the chrome roof piece, chrome front end, chrome base, chrome bumper in the back. I think the license plate says Treasure Hunter 2008. It's got a chrome interior also. Kind of looks like a Hummer, but not licensed. Two thousand eleven new models: the Mini Cooper S Challenge, only one euro. So this is an American car, so you get some info on the model. You can freeze the frame if you want to read that. Only the second version I have of this model. The other one is white with the red stripes, I think I have. So we get side deco and top deco. And some dirt on the roof. For free. Only one seat in there, seems. Yeah. It's a proper racer, all right. That's what these challenge vehicles are. I think they all race. And a mini. And then the last one I got from him, also 2011 new model, the Hyundai Genesis Coupe. So on the American long card. Nice blue color. Got the headlights done, side deco, and then nothing on the rear or on the top. It's a nice casting. I like it. Then from another seller, he had uh, both of these for sale. Two and a half euro asking price, ended up paying two euro for each. This is an old majorette. So it's a Ford truck, 1 to 100 scale it says on the base, and it comes with, the, it's kind of a skip truck, but it comes with the waste containers on the uh, plastic holder. Um, this doesn't open up, but this one I think does, but it's kind of hard to do, so probably not going to manage to open that but anyways will be empty inside obviously so I think you can just pick these up like that and then put them on the, uh, the truck bed uh, as you can see this is uh, apparently the same casting as um, uh, versions that have a canopy that clicks on there Got a trailer hitch and also metal. So everything you see is metallic red is metal. And I think this is just the same. It's kind of a glass container. Just put it on there like that. It doesn't really fit between these uh, poles. The green one it does fit like this, but then it's 
hard to pick it up like that. That's okay. Nice oldie. Always cool to find these in uh, mint condition. And the other one he had was a uh, Volvo XC90. Now I have a placekeeper for this. It's a second hand one I got with some uh, flea bites. So I thought, yes, finally I've got a minty version. But then I looked at a card and it says Chevrolet Avalanche on it. So it's an error card. So I can't open this up. I have to keep it uh, carded. So apparently originally he was asking five for it, reduced to two and a half and paid two for it. Uh, this is a 2005 new model, first release of this casting. So that's going to stay carded. And then, finally, I found this, um, well, kind of a grill piece, I would say. This uh, 1963 Cadillac Hearse, 2007 new model, first release in black. Four euro I had to shell out for this but uh, I found a loose one at Namak some time ago I think it was five euro for a one that was in plate with condition so I think uh, yeah all in all it's a relatively good deal got some packaging rub on top so this got side deco Lots of silver paint, um, no paint in the back, it's got a chrome base, you get the chrome bumpers and no paint in the front either, that's okay. So I've got a grey interior, so maybe we can take a look inside. This one famously has the, uh, the hand that comes out of the coffin and uh, the lid is kind of slid to side and it's got this hand on top of the coffin. Creepy, right? You can see it from the back too. Yeah, this is awesome to have. Finally, have an example of this. Well, I have the five-pack example, the kind of retooled version, I think. But this is an original. Very pleased with it. Next seller, I bought some loose cars from. This is the. 2020 BMW M4 from the moving parts and uh, this was in a baggie loose and this was only two euro so carded ones in store are four euro at least so I was very pleased with this got uh, details in the front details in the rear for Simon it says on the license plate whoever Simon may be and the opening part is the are the doors which are metal that is cool now one thing well there's a few things that are letting this casting down first of all the tombstone steering wheel that's a big no-no on a convertible in my opinion or at least on something that uh, has opening doors for starters because you can just uh, yeah it just doesn't look right and then the other th other strange thing here is this uh, so it's got a gray base and so they did part of the the grills here in the bumper they did um, they made it part of the base i think it kind of looks funky uh, would have been nice if this was uh, an all metal bumper um, yeah wouldn't look so strange so, yeah. but other than that it's a great color uh, like the opening doors and uh, like the model so and the other one he had is a welly sirena 105 i think it says on the base um, he bought this um, not like this um, and when he came home the front bumper turned out to be broken off so he decided to do a custom he took off the rear bumper so got a bumper delete version put on some uh, sponsoring stickers put on some jeweled lights here in the front to give it more of a rally look and uh, yeah I think he did a great job I really like it 
and uh, that's why I bought it and I did not have an example of this casting anyway so sweet then I only bought one car from Blondie she was there too and that's this Hot Wheels Infinity G37 nice uh, metallic silver or metal flake silver maybe I should say this is a 2011 mainline again one and a half euro I paid for this well this was two euro also by the way just like the BMW in the baggie so details in the front and the rear nice model right hand drive that should be and I also met up with two friends there Dijkas dude gave me this Lamborghini Sian FKP 37 it's got suspension it's a deluxe model so it's got rubber tires and it's got uh, several opening parts it's got the scissor doors that open up it's got the uh, engine cover not much to see when it comes to the engine and it's got this little tab here to make it possible to open it up uh, no uh, details on the rear unfortunately for a deluxe model that's kind of disappointing it's got uh, details on the side on the doors and the front and even on top some uh, some black paint um, it's got a Knight Rider steering wheel um, you see these uh, these um, this plastic boxy thing instead of a seat that is to uh, house the uh, suspension if they did not do that uh, it would sit up too high and look like a 4x4 off-roader like uh, some of their models do I said it before for me they should not bother putting suspension on sports cars just to uh, make it uh, possible for a, um, a low ride but you know that's what deluxe cars are they have suspension they charge extra for them so they have to add it this is not available in stores yet as far as I know uh, so how come like as dude has it because he is uh, sponsored by Majorette so uh, they send these cars to him and uh, well luckily I got one of them so thanks for that dude that's awesome and Ronnie was also there and he got me this so this is a uh, trailer of an unknown brand got the uh, three axles in the back and uh, he did not have the tractor for it but he thought when he saw this Volvo on there with the, what I think is the famous uh, five-cylinder um, yeah he thought of me and he bought it for me so that's very cool thank you for that my friend it here in the back I think you like that then on April 24 on a Sunday there was another swap meet diecast event uh, in the Beveren in a small town or small uh, village uh, in a uh, Opel garage or workshop by the way I will link diecast dudes videos of these events at the end of this video so if you're watching on your phone or your um, computer you can just click on that if you're streaming this to another device uh, you will have to look in the uh, description of the video where I also will put uh, those links you can um, see where I found all this stuff uh, Opel Omega Caravan Siku two euro I thought that was a good price for this these are not my most popular Siku cars in a way that they don't have the rubber tires they have the plastic tires they have the generic rims not the authentic ones they have the painted uh, headlights not the lensed uh, lights uh, no lensed lights in the back not even some paint they do have an opening part the lift gate in this case which uh, on a station wagon is uh, the business end so this is also always the part that should open up it's kind of reluctant to open but we'll get there there it is light colored colored interior and a black dashboard 
gives you a good look inside. This uh, might have had a, a Holden version in um, in Australia. So we get uh, just the uh, headlights in white and then the black grill with the uh, Opal logo in the middle there. But a nice uh, addition to the station wagon collection. Then from another seller I found these Team Racer ones. Uh, I was drawn to this because of this Volvo 740 or 760. These turn out to be Golden Wheel, copyright 1993. Um, selling price one and a half euro, but because I bought a bunch of them, one euro twenty-five. And these were apparently sold at uh, Grand Bazaar and uh, Unique supermarkets. Uh, nowadays they're called Carrefour. So kind of a cheap uh, diecast alternative to Matchbox, I guess, and Majorette. So let's take a look. Dirty in the packaging, very bland looking at the end. The front is a little bit better, but you know, a lot of plastic, nothing on the base. So not really anything special to look at, but you know, just kind of interesting. Here we got a Ferrari. This one does get some details on the back. The white is metal and the black is plastic. And they're all in a Diet Pepsi livery, which is also licensed according to the um, the packaging uh, somewhere. So it's somewhere. Yeah, it's on there. Let's see here too. And I'm not sure what this is actually. Kind of in doubt whether. Uh, is it a Fiat or is it uh, something American? I'm not sure what it is. It's not a Matra, is it? This one does have uh, some seats in there. Kind of a small hint of an interior. But, you know, nothing really special. And from that same seller, got these Road Tough. Found the Cadillac just recently, and now I got this uh, Nissan 300 ZX, one and a half, also reduced to 125. Nothing on the back. Made in Thailand. This is a Yatming, just like that Cadillac. Fair Lady Z or Z. So got an interior with a proper steering wheel. It says fairly D here on the hood or bonnet. Got a Datsun logo. It's not bad. Got a kind of a plastic red insert for the tail lights, the license plate. Then from another seller, I found this thing. Auto World Muscle Wagons. New casting, one of 13,904. Premium facts, you can freeze the frame if you want to read that. And it's in Saddle 10 Poly. Well, as you can see, it's not in Saddle 10 Poly. So at first I thought, well, what's this? Is this, uh, when I did not look at this, I thought, hey, a silver variation. But then I looked at the card and said, wait a minute, this is an ultra raw. Are you kidding me? An ultra raw at a diecast event in Belgium in a small village of all places. How the heck is that possible? So this is a 1963 Chevy 2 Nova 400 wagon premium series release 2 version A. This is what it should look like. I have it, the regular version, and as you can see, definitely does not look like that when it comes to color. So allegedly there's only 10 of these produced. Not sure if that's true, might be more because, you know, Auto World 
it's kind of hard to come by here uh, it's not available in uh, supermarkets or anything it's not available in the, in the big toy stores it's basically only available through die-cast uh, sellers um, dealers and you know usually dealers um, so for me to to find this I mean either there's much more produced of these or I'm just a very lucky SOB I can only uh, only can only be one of those two things um, I paid regular price for this so uh, for Europe that means between 10 and 15 euro I looked it up online and uh, there's one for sale in the United States I think it is uh, from a diecast wholesaler uh, or diecast hobby store and he's uh, that uh, that store is asking 399 dollars for it booyah but I think I'm going to open this up not now maybe in the um, many of a kind American station wagons video who knows we'll see but great find this uh, made the trip definitely worthwhile I'm very pleased with it then all these loose cars here these two rows and that carded one or from the same seller he had um, stuff for sale for two euro but uh, he, uh, he made me a deal so I uh, ended up paying a little less um, this is a um, 2000 Chevy Suburban by Matchbox oh yeah uh, different sellers but they were asking the same kind of price so they were friends sharing a table this is from the 2011 five back or farm rigs it's got an issue with the window as you can see here the front the windscreen windshield is a little bit too much forward and then um, you can see here on the B pillar side window piece kind of sticking too much forward uh, but I tried to push it back but it didn't really work so kind of an issue there but it's a uh, cool casting uh, it's in this flat green eco growers deco cool rims trailer hitch can't really read what it says there something about family and then blah 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 whatever the Chevy van and the uh, Wi-Fi repair livery this was a 2013 mainline white base and bumpers but uh, completely a metal body well, except for the front here I showed the interior on a um, previous chase report it's got a cool interior with the book headphones guitar amplifier a tape recorder and a seat and a table yeah, very nice interior. Hot Wheels 32 Ford delivery, 2008 mainline, mostly metal. Just the fenders here are brown plastic, kind of a gold with brown flames and a unpainted base. It also makes for the bumpers, chrome grill and uh, lights. Chrome has a little bit worn off on the lights, but on and all, all in all, not bad. And then we got two of these Kinsmart VW Classic Beetles. That's what it says on the base. I think it says 1967 there, by the looks of it. So these are pullback cars but very nice ones this is a kind of a hippie style theme love on the license plate peace and love flowers peace sign chrome rims lens headlights chrome bumpers front and back and this is just a plain yellow one same base 
white interior, the black steering wheel, white dashboard, KT2530, don't know what that means. And the last one I got from the seller, so they were all two euro each, but I got a deal and ended up paying one euro and 67 cents for each and every one of them. This is uh, the VW Champer, and this has Edo car on the base. I found a, I think it was a white one with red stripes recently from uh, that has Meso on the base. Of course, Meso is uh, who makes it, and Edo car just used this casting. Um, red with blue windows, kind of weird, but you know, it's okay. It's a Vida. And then uh, the other seller, his friend, on the table next to it, I got the rest of from Porsche Cayman S by Hot Wheels. This uh, was a 2007 new model, nice rims, nice silver color, got the uh, taillights and Cayman S on the back, tan interior, and then a light painted white with the Porsche emblem. Sweet. Siku VW Passat variant 2.0 FSI. Some stats on the engine. So this is how I prefer my Siku. Got rubber tires. We got authentic looking see-through rims. We got lensed headlights, lens tail lights, we got opening parts, got a separate piece for the light bar, the whole nine yards and that for only one euro sixty seven cents. Yeah, that's the score. Because those were also two euro asking price and they're paying one euro sixty seven. So we got some silver paint in the front, VW emblem this is in a um, Austrian Red Cross livery, Österreichisches Rotes Kreuz. That's what it says on the door. Austrian Red Cross, and then Notarzt is the emergency doctor in German. Even the roof rails are done in black. Cool. Very nice. Also found a few majorettes. These were all pretty dirty, so I kind of had to look through the dirt to find the nice ones because they were not all mint. Most of them actually had paint chips and were kind of damaged. So I searched through um, those uh, boxes. Usually had different colors of the same model. So um, I grabbed the ones that were in best condition, basically. Mercedes Class A. Got suspension, got this old style A dot wheels, got the lift gate that opens up with the hatch that opens up. What I like about this model is uh, the fact that the windows are rolled down, but not all the way rolled down, they're just uh, uh, yeah, a little bit uh, left to be seen, and that in the back. There's a um, back seat that folds down one third and two third, and the two third part is uh, is uh, folded forward. So that's kind of a nice touch. This is kind of interesting to look at this interior. Some more cargo space in there that has been created. Lens headlights. You can see some uh, scuffing on the on the window piece. And on top, but that's okay. Here we got the Renault Clio B85 in a metallic white, kind of an off white. This has painted headlights, painted tail lights with the Clio name and the Renault logo in silver. It's got a trailer hitch, no opening parts on this one. Suspension also, five spoke rims. Also by Majorette, the Citroën C3. No suspension on this one. Uh, nice red color. Just the headlights are done. Nice interior. It's got the panoramic roof with the partially opened. You can see proper steering wheel. Nice interior. 
nice shifter emergency brake it's all there usually when you find these this uh, plastic roof part is scratched up from being too long in the packaging but this must have been taken out not long after it was uh, in the packaging so it does not have those scratches nice little hatchback I like to collect these and the last majorette is this C4 coupe so it has suspension older style wheels also five spokes uh, it's got very dark windows but it does have an interior as you can see here so don't know why they do the dark windows got the headlights done and the tail lights and that's it tempo wise this is also window piece by the way but, uh, yeah, can't see through it matchbox Porsche 911 Turbo in a very nice blue color this is a 2006 mainline got the license plate the turbo in the middle some red for the tail lights strangely enough the top part of the tail light is just blue and not uh, kind of a smoky gray this would probably be uh, part of a top tempo if they wanted to do that top part of the tail light tan interior kind of a almost brownish interior and the headlights with the Porsche logo very nice version this one was also very dirty and when I was cleaning it, it kind of dawned on me that this was full deco and it was only then that I noticed the wheels hey wait a minute these are super fast wheels this is a 2005 super fast so only one euro and 67 for this Volkswagen microbus again great score so we got a white roof we got the uh, black around the windows got the headlights and tail lights that wrap around got the VW logo front and back interior wise uh, it does not have door cards and it's very basic looking but of course this is a concept car so I don't know if the real one had much of an interior but, uh, so this is what uh, VW was um, thinking the VW bus would evolve into nice very pleased with the next one also this is the Ford box truck it says it right here on the on the end this was from the 2006 five pack police it's in flat black in a SWAT livery with the black six spoke rims very very cool looking got a grayish interior it seems with a proper steering wheel emergency response police SWAT this is in mostly metal body just the front end here is plastic everything else is metal so it's a big chunk of metal it's got a little paint chip here on the corner but I wasn't going to leave it uh, just for that because this just looks too cool to leave behind got me another ambulance so this is a 1978 mainline metal on metal no suspension opening doors in the back blue lights part of the blue window piece still got the stickers still got the silver silver on the rims just has a little bit of a faulty paint job which I was not able to see underneath the dust but other than that you know for the money it's for the ambulance video so no biggie airport coach this is in a KLM livery Royal Dutch Airlines uh, so this was from a Skybuster gift set from 1991 so I'm guessing this is also pretty rare to come by it's got some flea bites but I thought you know rare piece like this I'm not going to leave it behind so what you see is blue is plastic and what you see is white is all metal 
for the little bus collection. And the last one is carded. So this says Dicky Spielzeug Diecast Car Salon 1 to 60 scale. Um, here on the back is uh, the other cars in that set. Uh, I think I have pretty much most of these. Not all are mint though. Um, so back when Dicky was not together with Simba, they relied on other diecast manufacturers for their diecast. Um, and this in this packaging you can find welly cars. Uh, I thought I already had a blue one, and I do. But uh, when I came home, I compared. Came home, I compared, and it's, uh, it seems to be a different blue. Put it next to one another in a moment. So let's see. Nowadays, Simba Dicky has a majorette for their toy cars. They just bought majorette. That's maybe the easiest thing to do if you can't uh, produce them themselves and uh, stop buying them from other manufacturers. Date sticker October 2005. So these don't stick very well on a rough surface, I guess. BMW X5 chrome six spoke rims, generic, nice blue color. Got black for the grill, but no white or silver for the headlights. We got a BMW logo. We got uh, some black trim on the side and the indicator repeater. We got red taillights that wrap around. We got the X5 badge. Um, so yeah, pretty much full decker, although they, uh, they left out a few things. And here's my other one. As you can see, a different kind of blue lighter blue with a little bit more metal flake in it but it's got the same details so bumper in front partially plastic part of the base so yeah interesting color variation then from another seller I only bought this one for the tow truck collection this is the Matchbox Tojo this was available between 1972 and 1975 and the reason I bought it is because it was only two euro and it's complete still has the hooks on there these are usually always gone so for that kind of money I would not wasn't going to leave it behind it was very dirty clean it up so you can uh, see the um, paint loss loss a lot easier but I think it's not bad it's still got some silver on the rims it's got a little bit of a cracked window piece but they seem to all uh, have that well except for those really minty ones of course just happy to have a complete example of this and then the next seller sold me this husky Ford Zephyr 6 estate car Seems kind of small. I don't know if these Husky were started out small, just like um, the Lesney Matchbox uh, did, and then got bigger over time. It's got an opening uh, lift gate in the back. It's a nice blue color. It's got the gray plastic wheels. So I think this is a really oldy, really old one. Right hand drive, of course, being a Vauxhall British car. It's got chrome base, so chrome bumpers have chrome front end. Part of the bumper is broken off. I did that by cleaning it because uh, I clean, I wipe down all these loose cars with a wet uh, microfiber cloth. It does uh, miracles for the paint. Uh, you should uh, try it yourself if you haven't done that. But uh, unfortunately, um, yeah, this bumper piece broke off and I never found it back. But you know only two euro for this thing I think uh, yeah it's kind of a steal and for the bus collection this is well it's more of a coach this one made by Guitoy in Spain so three axles airlines Portugal service airport Aeroport. Service Aeroport, I don't know, is that French or what? Uh, 
what is that nothing on the back just stickers on the side and it's got two opening doors with these uh, levers on the base so the front door kind of opens and closes like that and then this is a sliding door doesn't slide very easily but you know it kind of works uh, the white part is all metal and then the black is plastic so I thought that was a cool find also and then on Monday April 25 I went to Germany I go there to buy Hot Wheels and Matchbox mostly and sometimes some Siku and some Majorette did not find much um, since the last time I was there there was not, not much new I did uh, miss out on these these are usually the peg warmers in the one euro stores now I had to uh, buy them in the one euro and 49 stores so from 2022 so that tells you the current condition of the uh, supply of um, die cast um, 85 Honda City Turbo 2 in green reuse rides nice green color it's got a little bit of a paint chip there on the roof that's probably why it was left behind it's got those uh, bikes in the back from the same store the Mazda Ripu this is full deco that's probably why it's uh, not that big a peg warmer as usual also because it's got uh, details in the front details on the side details on the back so just not the top tempo but uh, four sides that's well it's not full deco but almost i like these uh, retro slot wheels on it too rotary power cool 2020 jeep gladiator this was from the one euro stores 2022 main line <coughs> did not take it last time because you know it's black and i don't care for the borla livery but i like this casting so ended up picking it up plastic uh, grill and headlights and uh, motorcycles in the back just side deco uh, looks okay from the Chevy Bel Air series this is the first one from that series I got the 57 Chevy also one euro well not that keen on this casting but you know I like 55 Chevys uh, kind of a flat red the next one the gold one will be much nicer I think chrome base got chrome bumpers that's nice not bad and to my utter surprise I found the matchbox super chase it was hanging on the pegs in a store called euro shop which used to sell these for one euro but now they're already one euro thirty but you know that's still cheap compared to the rest of Europe and definitely for one of these super chases um, one thing I noticed is the super chase has the name on the left 2020 Corvette while all the other ones usually from this series have their name on the right so if you're looking on the pegs and you're looking underneath what cars are on there you can kind of recognize it from uh, having the name on the left there so that's kind of why how I scanned the uh, the rest of the the pegs because there was a lot of uh, old older not that old but older matchbox hang on the pegs there in different stores and um, yeah in the one euro stores they're all gone but in the stores that sell them for 129 or 130 or um, don't know what other prices there are they uh, they kind of keep hanging there so I want to open this up but um, I gotta grab my knife so I'm just going to continue with this first from Muller a majorette 
in the FC Bayern München series. This is a football club. Uh, this was reduced from 3.99 to 2 euro 50. Just wanted to have an example of this uh, series. Apparently there's uh, two different sticker sheets for each vehicle. So there's also an Audi R8 coupe and a Audi A1. Those do not have opening parts, so I decided to grab this one. And strangely enough, there was another one that did not have the black painted bottom piece of the bumper because that's a totally metal bumper. But the part where the um, exhausts are in is painted black on this one and the other one was unpainted, interestingly. Like those uh, rims. So this is the Audi S5 for the opening doors. So it comes with a sticker sheet. You can uh, put the number of your favorite football player on there or his name. Uh, Mia San Mia is the, um, their, their catchphrase, I guess. And you can also get a Majorette sticker, some more of those logos that are also on the side and on the hood or bonnet. A few footballs. Yeah, interesting. It's a nice nice idea, but I don't think it's that popular because uh, judging by the um, pricing down of it, it's got the uh, licensing sticker there of the football club. It's not that old though, November 2021 packaging. So that's pretty recent. So just glad to have an example. There's um there's a Paris football club also and I think one from Thailand. So there's a few different ones. And then this week uh, April 27 at Aldi they were selling these arms at the three packs junior collection that means they don't have an interior they don't have rubber tires they have basic rims and they don't have lensed headlights three euro and 99 cents so one euro 33 per car so we've got the Aston Martin Vantage the Mercedes AMG GTS and the Audi R8 Coupe oh yeah these are taped up Let's see I saw that beforehand but of course, I forgot to put uh, to take a um, a blade to get this open. But that way you can see I'm opening this for the first time together with you guys. So plastic base, kind of a fluorescent yellow greenish color. We got the tail lights done. A bit of a diffuser in the back and the headlights with the uh, logo. Mercedes, no details on the back, just in the front. And the Audi, so this is kind of the newer Audi R8. They also had the, uh, the older casting. This is in a metal flake orangey yellow and this has uh, four tempo, si tempo sides so in the back black grill tail lights done plastic separate spoiler these are uh, blades in black on the side in the front headlights black for the grill and then Audi logo on top so detail wise it's not bad this one next up we got the Nissan GTR 35. We got the Corvette Grand Sport, Grand Sport, and the Audi A5 Sportback. Metallic white, tail lights, metal spoiler. That's nice. Some black paint here on the hood or bonnet, and I think this is also top tempo. This silver for the headlights plastic uh, grill piece here in the middle part of the base no tampos on the back of this one just headlights and the Corvette logo you only have three types of wheels these are ten spokes and there's these uh, five spokes and then these six spokes kind of double spokes Audi A5 Sportback 
tail lights, headlights, and very nice grill, I have to say. Very detailed. I think Audi demands a little bit more detail than the other uh, car makes, it seems. Next up, we got uh, another Audi A5 Sportback, but in white. Got the BMW M5. And we got the Lamborghini Gallardo LP570 dash for super leggera taillights and then again nicely detailed in the front like we've seen on all the other Audis so uh, I think that's definitely something that uh, Audi demands from Unique Fortune or Arms at City taillights and also Okay, detail wise, no black paint here on the bottom grill here. Uh, if this was an Audi, it would have that, but not bad. This M5. You also do an M550i, which is a newer 5 series. And then the uh, Lamborghini in metal flake green. Plastic spoiler, tail lights are done. Black stripe on the side, and then the uh, Lights with the uh, logo, so four tempo passes also, but this is also an Audi brand, so probably has something to do with that too. And then the last set, all American vehicles in here: the Dodge Challenger SRT Demon, Chevrolet Camaro, and the Ford F-150. Nice red, nicely done taillights too, and very nicely done in the front also. Headlights silver and black for the grill, and even down there, it's got a little spoiler lip part of the base. Not bad. The Camaro, 2010 Camaro taillights, go fast stripes on top, and then partially detailed in the front. At the bottom side, the Ford pickup truck has a tonneau cover, got the tail lights that kind of wrap around, and then nicely detailed front end there. The Ford oval, okay. For those of you who have waited all the way to the end or just skipped all the way to the end, that's probably more like it. Let's try to cut this open with this very dangerous X-Acto blade. Don't try this at home. I always think this is really sketchy when I do this. There's people who are very fluent with these knives. Always kind of makes me wonder if they are serial killers or what. No, just kidding. They're probably a hobby people who uh, make customs and stuff like that okay and just like that you can take it out and put it back in because these chase cars like super treasure hunts and this I uh, I keep so we have a black plastic base we've got kind of a real rider style wheels so rubber tires with uh, a special design rim it's in a uh, red white and blue American colors with even some stars on there. It's got um, taillights, Corvette name. License plate says USA on top, very small printing. And then red, white and blue. Look at that. Um, 21 Corvette for the uh, release here probably headlights Corvette logo some black paint here in the front and the grill so this is full deco and has the real riders uh, that's very nice to find that in their mainline packaging or in a mainline case I would say some engine detail there it seems heavier too maybe that's just my idea Maybe I'm just uh, delusional, but 
it seems heavier too. It's the white is uh, it's not just plain white, it's kind of a matte white, flat white that has some sparkle in it, but you know, it's, it's very interesting, very nice. I'm so amazed that I was able to find this. At first, when these came out in the United States, it was told that uh, there would be no short card versions of that. Just like there's hardly any Super Treasure Hunts by Hot Wheels in short card. Uh, but then uh, they sh started uh, popping up and uh, pictures started to be shown on Instagram. And uh, yeah, I've got one myself. Crazy. Well, my buddy JK found one uh, in Finland, by the way, so I'm not the only one. There's several uh, of us that uh, have found them. So that's very cool. Um, this made the trip all worthwhile, even though I did not find much. Um, that's uh, kind of the joy when you're um, when you're having chase cars. If you got uh, if there's not much mainline stuff to be found, if you found this, it's made the trip uh, all worthwhile, in my opinion. Don't forget to click on those diecast dude videos that are popping up. Thanks for watching. Bye.